In the calculation section of your atomic spectroscopy lab, you're asked to calculate the wavelengths of hydrogen's spectral lines using this equation, the bomber ryberg equation. So this equation shows you that 1 over lambda, which is wavelength, equals r at infinity, which is the Rydberg constant that has a value of 1.097 times 10 to the minus 2 inverse nanometers, times 1 over m squared, which is the final electron energy level, or where the electron falls to, minus 1 over n squared, or the initial electron energy level, or where the electron started. So there's this table is available for you on Blackboard. If you haven't already downloaded it, you should download it now. And you'll notice that I've already filled in the columns with the initial, final electron energy levels, or m, and the initial electron energy levels, or n. So in this cell, what we want to do is calculate inverse wavelength. So to enter the formula for the calculation, you use an equal sign. That tells Excel you're entering a calculation or a formula. And then we need to enter the Rydberg constant, 1.097. Now what you can't do is write 10 to the minus 2 as it's shown here. Instead, you have to use E in minus 2. And that to Excel means 1.097 times 10 to the minus 2. Then you need the multiplication sign, which is the asterisk above the 8, and then a parenthesis, 1 minus m squared. So m is right here in cell H5 for me, so I'll click on H5, and then I use a caret above the 6 to square it, and the 2 means squared, minus 1 divided by n, which for me is cell I5, so I just click on I5, and again, I square it, and my parenthesis and hit enter. And this is, the calc this is the inverse wavelength for that particular transition when the electron falls from level 2 to level 1. So now I want to do the calculation for when the electron falls from level 3 to level 1 and level 4 to level 1. And I want to come all the way down here and be doing it for when it falls from 4 to 3, etc. <clears throat> but what I don't have to do is enter the formula, you know, whatever this is, 12 times, instead I can copy. So if I click on the first cell where I've already entered the formula, and then if I hover my cursor above the green, whoops, above the green square here until I get a black cross, so not this white cross, I want the black cross, and then I left click with my mouse, and then I just drag all the way down and I release the formula has been copied. So if I go all the way down to my last cell here, you'll see that this formula is referencing cells H19 and I19, which are right here. So it's using this as my final electron energy level, and it's using this number 8 as my initial electron energy level. So the other thing that we need to do is correct for the number of significant figures. So if we look at our equation here, m and n are both integers. So those don't count in the electron, uh, I mean, in the significant figure tally. But the Rydberg constant has four significant figures. So we want these numbers to only have four significant figures. So these are my decrease and increase decimal buttons. So if I was to use the increase, you can see I end up with more numbers or more decimal places. But if I go to this one, I can decrease my decimal places until I get down to four in the first cell anyhow. And so <clears throat> you can see here, I have my decimal, 0, 0, the two zeros, the leading zeros don't count, the ones to the right of the decimal place, and then it says 8228, two, eight. so that has four significant figures. And so I'm going to have to correct some of these cells individually. So this one now, now I've corrected those to four significant figures, and down here these all have three, so I'll go to the increase decimal and um, let these, allow these to um, go up to four decimal places, and uh, then we are all set. They have the correct number of sig figs. So in this cell here, I'm going to let you try it on your own, the calculation of wavelength. So you have to get the inverse of the number in cell J5 here. So you're just going to take the inverse and um, remember to use the equal sign when entering the formula. And then once you're done, just copy, drag and copy that formula all the way down. Um, you will lose your gray formatting here in the middle. That's okay. That's and there's a way to not lose the formatting, but it's just uh, just a subject for a more advanced Excel class.